You ready? You ready? All right, so the MMA leader back in Montreal tonight. We are inside Bell Center where the hockey fans are making noise for mixed martial arts tonight. This is as good an MMA setting as we have on the entire calendar, DC. I remember sitting in the back before Josh Koscheck fought George St. Pierre and thinking, wow, the Canadian fans have treated us great this week. But the moment we hit the curtain, you felt the booze. You felt that we were uninvited because they were there to cheer on their guy, George St. Pierre. But look, it's not limited to just him. They cheer all fighters in all great fights in the Bell Center. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Let's go. Nice strike. Big body kick. Just over three minutes to go round one. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Knee to the body, it is blocked. Lands a big right hand there. Oh! You got this, okay? Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, there comes the high kick. And then you're in a lot of trouble. And both guys really throwing with authority. Checks the leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big falls from touch land. Now we get back to range. That was a thudding leg kick. Visibly limping here. Look at the turtle in that kick. Just out of range with that right hand. It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Okay, now you ready? You ready? Let's go, fight! Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo deal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Pretty good right hand. There's a big right hand coming in. Oh, straight right. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, come on. More than one, more than one. Punches and punches. 
look at the force behind that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one up. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up with him. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Lee gets hit with a kick. Don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in. Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighters setting it up and then throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. Lee gets caught with that punch. 30 seconds to go on the round. Big head kick. Oh, what a job at home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. And now he's got a little bad. What a fight so far. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. You ready? You ready? Third so round underway. Two strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, straight right. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Circling to his right. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that that punch over and over again. What is he gonna do? Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Three minutes to go in round three. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. There as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at the good action that comes to him throwing that kick. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Right hand upstairs. Some nice back and forth action here. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Do you believe it? Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So, somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So 
away. Big win for him here tonight.